Hey everyone, so I decided to release the NTA planner that I made all throughout my Build Your Own Digital Planner series. So if you followed that series and you learned how to create your very own digital planner, you've already seen this planner. The only thing I've done differently is I added a blank page to every section so you can insert your own pages if you want to. But since you watched me create this planner, I am releasing this planner for $12 um, because this planner is pretty simple to make and I don't provide a wide variety of layouts with it, just the weekly and the monthly calendars. And I will provide stickers with it as well that will match the fonts that are featured in this planner. So I'm just gonna do a quick flip through for those of you that did not follow that series and don't wanna build your own digital planner just so you can see what the inside of this planner looks like. So here's the planner and it says NTA Planner V3 because if you didn't follow the video, it's version three because I actually compressed it two different times from the original file size to make the file size less than 10 megabytes. So it's not gonna take up a lot of space on your tablet or your iPad or whatever at all. So here's the cover of the planner and it's got a spine and it's got a strap over the side and then a place right here for you to write. And then when you flip, here's your index page. So your index page, you can click on any of these months and it'll take you to the right months. You can click on the tabs and it'll take you to the correct section. Or you can click on front to go back to the front of your planner. You can click on back to go to the back of your planner, which just looks like the back of a notebook and that is all you need to do to navigate. So just, I'm gonna walk you through January, but from here on out, every section looks the same, so that's why I'm only gonna show you January. So I can either scroll to go to January, or I can click here to go to January, or I can click here to go to January. And here's the January section. Each section has the month, so you don't accidentally delete these sections, and all of your links will always work. And here is the monthly calendar. It's a Monday start, and I did five rows of boxes. So if a month starts on a Sunday, you will have to double up a couple boxes down here where you just draw a line diagonally through Monday and Tuesday. But that's only if it's a Sunday start for the month. So I also left a space for priorities for the month and for tasks, and I left plenty of room up here for some kind of header so you can get really creative with that. You can write it in, you can use stickers, whatever you wanna do. So that's the monthly calendar, and then the weekly calendar looks like this, and it's also a Monday start with room for you to put numbers above the days and then room for a header as well. And then I left just a small priorities box right here and you could build a checklist or something right there. I left a notes section right here and then I did a habit tracker and you can track, I believe it's seven habits. Yeah, you can track seven habits right here um, for all days of the week. So that's what the weeks look like and I duplicated this five times per section. So you already have five, but you can always delete or add if you want to. So I'm gonna scroll through those. And then here is your blank section that comes with each month and you can do anything you want with this. You can add your own um, pages if you want to, your own layouts, uh, just whatever you wanna do. So there's one of these per section as well and then you just scroll past that and then you'll get to the next section and the tabs alternate between black and white. So that's it, that is the new planner. If you wanna see how I made this planner from start to finish, or if you wanna create your own planner from start to finish, make sure you check out my Build Your Own Digital Planner series, which I'll link to in the video description. And make sure you subscribe to my channel if you would like to see some Digital Plan With Me videos or digital planning tutorials and check out my website, naptimealt.com, where you can download tons of planner-related freebies now.